I got this from the Western Cape of South Africa with its mild Mediterranean climate and a garden that is flourishing. In my last video, I spoke about the independent beefsteak tomatoes and their first fertilization. Today, I'm going to speak about the determinate tomatoes, first fertilization. They're both very different. The indeterminate tomatoes grow all season long. The determinate tomatoes grow to two to four feet tall, produce all their fruit, and then die. But both are great to grow, to harvest, and to eat. These determinate tomatoes have been growing for about 10 weeks now. As you can see, there has been massive growth in the weeks since we last trellised these tomato plants. We do not want to remove the suckers on the determinate plants. We want to maximize the return. But what we do want to do is we want to remove the leaves, which are inhibiting the airflow between the plants. Let's take some of the leaves, which are making it difficult for me to fertilize it. Take this one off. I don't want to touch any of the suckers, except these down the bottom. I will take them off because they are going to touch the ground and we don't want them to infect these plants. I'm going to use the tailboard fertilizer, which I used with these indeterminate beefsteak uh, tomatoes for these determinate tomatoes. It's the same process. So I'm going to take 25 milliliters of tailboard. This is in the ratio of four to one is to six, which means that there's plenty of potassium which will enable these, these plants to, to rapidly and, and effectively mature their fruit. I recorded 25 milliliters of fertilizer to 5 milliliters of water. Well, I'm going to pour one to two seconds of pour around each plant. The fertilizer will bring about a a rapid growth in the fruit. This is three days after the fertilization and the plants are growing vigorously. They're fruiting from the ground up. You can see there are a fair number of small Roman tomatoes at the lower levels. At the upper levels we can see there are additional trusses which are growing. So, and flowers and these plants are going to be growing upwards and upwards over the next months or so. So who knows how many fruit will be grown but it's certainly looking promising. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new to the channel please subscribe. I'm hoping that we will develop a community of small like-minded gardeners who enjoy growing, who enjoy finding the best way to do things and who want to share their ideas. So, looking forward to seeing you soon from Simon's Town, the Western Cape of South Africa.